Good evening, I'm Ryan Bratton. And I'm Eileen Mary O'Connell. Here's tonight's top story. On Wednesday, NBC fired Matt Lauer after investigating allegations of sexual misconduct. And if he's anything like the last NBC host to be accused of sexual misconduct, Lauer's about to become president. <laughs> Minnesota Public Radio has fired Garrison Keeler after allegations of inappropriate behavior. Keeler reportedly kept pressuring coworkers to be his, quote, prairie home more than companion. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. NBC has reported that the White House has an infestation of mice and roaches. I can't believe we have to share the building with those disgusting creatures, said the mice and roaches. <laughs> Anthony Scaramucci is threatening to sue the Tufts University student newspaper for publishing what he says are, quote, false and defamatory statements. Comment, Scaramucci. Yeah, it was totally false and uh, defamatory. They said that I was a class act and good at my job. But I'm in, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Tumblr founder David Karp has stepped down as the website CEO. To see why he stepped down, you can read Karp's long, rambling explanation filled with references of emo songs. Bernie Sanders has been nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album. Although, out of habit, Debbie Wasserman Schultz plans on sabotaging his chances. <laughs> Last month, Harrison Ford helped rescue a woman whose car swerved off an embankment, though lesser fans insist that Greedo saved her first. <laughs> Angela Lansbury said that women must accept some blame for sexual harassment because they make themselves attractive to men. She also said that she deserves some of the blame for all those murders. <laughs> for a third season. They decided to pick up the show when they realized they still have a few 80s movies left to rip off. <laughs> I don't know anything about the 80s because I was born in the 90s. I'm Bindi Owen. <laughs> MTV has announced it is bringing back Jersey Shore. It was easy for producers to find the original cast because they were all getting treated at the same free clinic. <laughs> Herpes are real. My mom made me get my HPV shot. Your mom should make you do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence told Elle magazine that she'd like to take some time off from acting. Comment to Jay Law. It's really just important that I spend some more time falling in front of my family. <laughs> I'm so relatable. <laughs> What J Law doesn't understand is that there's no rest for the weary! <laughs> On November 21st, Kevin Hart and his wife Enigo Parrish welcomed a baby boy. Kevin is already looking forward to wearing his baby son's hand me ups. <laughs> He's so small, he'd get killed down under. <laughs> show in Nebraska due to technical difficulties. So make that 100 problems. <laughs> also, another concert to never make it to Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Nebraska. Sorry if anyone's from there. I'm from Australia. <laughs> Microsoft executives announced plans to modernize their Seattle headquarters. First on the list is updating their windows. <laughs> Dictionary.com has announced that it is named complicit as its 2017 word of the year. Said a Dictionary.com employee, I feel like complicit was the wrong choice for word of the year, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Scientists at Vanderbilt University have determined that dogs are smarter than cats. It's just an irrefutable fact, said head scientist Dr. Rover McFido. <laughs> All right. Meal delivery company Blue Apron has hired a new CEO. They found him in the sections of podcasts that you skip over. <laughs> Snapchat has redesigned its app in order to make it, quote, more personal for users. Commented a Snapchat user. It's really great that Snapchat is, Snapchat is more Snapchat is more personal. Finally, get a chance to show my dick to myself. Ah. <laughs> is there a Mrs. Snapchat user? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists have named a microbe species after the band Rush. The species now has the name band I listen to when I live in my parents' basement. Oh, I like them. Oh. Do you live in your parents' basement? No. Ooh. We just negated that joke. <laughs> oh, I see. I was supposed to yes and that. A man from India broke a Guinness record by stuffing 459 straws in his mouth. The record was for world's most embarrassing dad. <laughs> Hey, and finally, <laughs> Tesla has created the world's largest battery in Australia. No word on what the battery will be used for, but Australia, Australia is conveniently also home to the world's largest vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Story Weekly! I'm <laughs> <laughs>